I'm Nigel Griffiths and it's my great pleasure to talk about the new Power9 server, the S924, what you really need to know about series, 9 facts about the I.O. adapters. PCIe has been around quite a long time now and in the middle of 2017 they officially announced the Generation 4 or Version 4, everybody seems to call it Gen 4. Now this is pretty good timing for the Power9 machines that are just coming out in 2018, good future proofing if you take the new generation of this adapter technology. Fact number 2 is looking at the speed of the Generation 4 adapter. Adapters, they're twice the speed of Generation 3. Now the X8 and the X16 is the number of lanes. More lanes, the faster you go. So Generation 4 is really about future adapters that are above 10 gigabytes per second. Now notice these PCI speeds are in gigabytes per second. That's roughly speaking 100 gigabits per second. Now the good news for Fact 3 is that the Generation 3 adapters can be used in a Generation 4 slot. When it's powered up, it auto-negotiates the speed and will run at Gen 3. Initially for Power 9, most of the adapters will be Gen 3. They're coming over from the Power 8 machines. That's fast enough for line speeds. Now notice networks and SANs tend to use gigabits per second for their speed rating. Fact number 4. So in the S924 with two Power 9 chips, you get 11 slots. A combination of 6 Gen 3 and 5 Gen 4. If you only have one Power 9 chip, you lose a couple of those PCI slots, particularly the Gen 4 ones. Fact number 5 is that if you're in the S924, the 4 means 4U high, and the adapters are full high and half length. If you're using the S922 then you'll need the low profile adapters to fit in the machine. Fact number six, nice diagram in here we can see the two power nine chips in their P9s and their associated memory that's attached to them. Then on the left hand side we can see there's a whole bunch of uh, PCI adapters. In purple we can see the C numbers, these are the slot numbers as you'll find on the back of the machine, they're labelled up with these numbers. On the right hand side we can see there's just three slots but they're the higher speed gen four slots. If you only have one power nine chip then you'll lose the right hand one and and so you can see we lose some of the PCI Gen 4 slots as well. Now if 11 PCI slots isn't enough, then what you need is an expansion drawer. Everybody calls it a MEX drawer, which is a bit odd because the feature code is actually EMX, but there we go. If you have two Power 9 chips in your S924, then you can support up to one and a half MEX drawers, and you think, that's a really odd number, right? Well, we'll explain that now. So here's a slide from our Power 8 days, and it's exactly the same MEX I.O. drawer, which can be useful if you want to move a MEX drawer from a Power 8 machine to a Power 9 machine. That will all work fine. If you look around the uh, back, you'll see that there's two different units in the, in the back here. They're actually in metal boxes, separated. And each of those provides six additional PCI slots. And in the middle, there's a connector that goes back to the server, in this case, the S924. In the S924, you have to have an uh, adapter called an EJ08. If you've got an S922, it's an EJ05. And so in this case, with just two half drawers, we'll need two adapters to support those. Fact number nine. So what's the maximum number of adapters? Well, 11 slots in the machine, 18 slots in those three half drawers. But don't forget, we lose three because we need those in the server to connect to the MEX drawer. So we end up with 26. Initially, there's 50 adapter types. That's about twice what I was expecting. There's 30 more to follow on at a later date. And then there's some really exciting high-speed Gen 4 adapters coming later, but I'm not allowed to tell you any more. So here's my summary of the nine points. Pause the movie if you want to read through that. Things to remember, the S924 is ready for Gen 4. 11 slots built into the server, and with a couple of IO drawers, you get 26 slots. There's an industry tend towards fewer high-speed adapters. Well, that's it for this movie. We're going to be looking at facts about discs in the next one. If you like this video, thumbs up, please, or subscribe.